I'm going to show you how to build a LEGO World War II tank mock without crippling your finances. What I'm about to show you is actually so reasonably priced that instead of creating one LEGO tank build kit, I'm going to make two using these two base plates here. <laughs> I don't know why I love doing that. I'm going to create an M4A3E8, better known as the Easy 8 and I'm also going to build a Panzer 4H. To make each of these builds unique, both mocks will have a different theme, but I've also expanded my LEGO World War II minifigure collection including tank crews for each vehicle, new infantry to support the advance, and even some of the most unreasonably high quality LEGO weapons I have ever seen. And now it's time for the big reveal. <laughs> That's right. On the left, we have a tank driving down a road. On the right, we have a tank driving over a bridge. Incredibly exciting. I've also asked you to send me your own LEGO tank mocks, and at the end of the video, we're gonna compare them. I will, of course, destroy you all. Now, you may have noticed that I'm an actor Actual no! But did you know that I have an obsession with tanks? What? I've actually been playing World of Tanks since 2011. In fact, some of the very first videos I ever made were on World of Tanks. So it brings a tear to my eye to announce that World of Tanks has sponsored this video. You see all of these World War II tanks, including the Easy 8 and Panzer IV I'm about to build, well by downloading World of Tanks you can drive them into massive no! tank battles on your own. In this video, I'm going to be building both my tank box with a unique theme and setting, but in World of Tanks, you'll be fighting all around the world with a vast range of vehicles from a bunch of different nations, and you can pick the vehicles and playstyles that fit you best. Now today, I will be building my first World War II LEGO tanks. However, in World of Tanks, I've got multiple tier 10s on different accounts. And as you can see from my videos, my main focus was always the Soviet medium tanks because they are the best. World of Tanks is free to play on PC. By downloading it using my link in the description and using code COMBAT, you'll get some cheeky perks to get you started. A Cromwell B, tier 6 British medium tank, 250,000 credits, 7 days of premium, and 3 rental tanks for 10 battles each. The Tiger 131, T78, and Type 64. Of course, this is only for new players who register to the game. Thank you, World of Tanks, for sponsoring this video and financing my LEGO spending habit. Now back to the Lego building. If you haven't heard of Bricklink, this is a Lego creator's dream. Remember all of these Lego deliveries from the last five, maybe six videos? Well, all of that was ordered on Bricklink. By coming down here and clicking mocks, typing in World War II and selecting popular, just look at how many World War II Lego builds there are. The list goes on and on and on. This is where I found the Easy 8 and the Panzer 4 and just wait until you see how much cheaper this actually is. Let's use the Sherman as an example. By scrolling down here, you'll get a full list of every part you need. And then right at the top, you can click on building steps, which gives you full instructions on how to assemble the tank and if somehow that was not enough you can even open a 3d model and inspect every last detail even a three-year-old could do this I shouldn't say that because I'm probably gonna encounter some difficulties but here's the best bit by clicking on easy buy bricklink will find the cheapest possible way to create this build and 60 quid if I got this from literally anywhere else it would probably cost me about 300 quid and my left kidney. The Panzer IV is even cheaper at only 40 pounds. So, let go. So, here's the two base plates I'm gonna be using. Let's, uh... You know what, the flower can stay because it survived somehow. And here are all the parts that I'm gonna need to make the Easy 8. There we go. And I've also got a new monitor to allow us to go step by step through the build instructions to actually create it using these bricks. But before we do that, let's move this stuff out the way because I want to look at the new minifigures and weapons that we've just picked up. Okay, so this is what we've got for the Americans here. We have got two American tankers. We've got a bunch of bodies and three other minifigures, some weapons. These were the existing weapons and Americans that we had. Let's open up the tankers though and also we've got some new like uniforms, some hats, heads, some custom Lego heads. This stuff here is real Lego. Nice. So these guys will actually be driving the Easy 8 which I think is a really nice addition. So let's just get them there lined up next to each other. We've also got a couple of new helmets. So we've got a medic helmet, we've got an MP military police and we've also just got one of the netted helmets. We've got some American heads to swap in as well. And of course, we've got even more just like bodies. This is a cheaper way to do it, by the way. If you buy individual bodies and 
and individual legs, then they go together nicely and they're just cheaper. Okay, there we go. That is three custom American soldiers, which we can now get onto the base plates. But it doesn't end there because we've got even more guys and then we've got some insane weapons to show as well. So these are our three next soldiers. These are all army infantry. One of them is about to get a significant promotion. Also, they normally have these kind of like standard rifles over there, but let me show you these weapons and helmets, okay? So what I'm gonna do is he is now going to, I mean, he's being promoted to George Patton all of a sudden, and we're gonna give him an M1911. As you can see, what once was a captain with no weapons is now General Patton with an M1911 and a dagger. So let's get him down there, and then we've got two more dudes. So what we've just done is we've just given these guys custom helmets, and we've also given them new custom weapons, and they look incredible. Let's get those guys next to Patton. They've just got a serious upgrade. And you know what? We're not even done. What you are looking at is an M1 Browning. I hope I'm getting all these names right. Right? Otherwise, people will be crying in the comment section. Now, the new airborne soldiers actually do need weapons. Okay, we've got two M1 Garands and a bar. Let's do that. So there we go. The US Army has been completed. All the minifigures and weapons have been assembled. So now that we've done that, let's get to actually building the Sherman Easy 8. Okay, so let's turn this bad boy on. Voila, magic. Again, uh, we could just get the whole list of parts if we wanted to. <laughs> In theory, they're all here. Building steps, let's go. Only 126 building steps, I'll have you know. Right, let's just, let's try and fly through this. Let's speed run it. Okay, so on the front end, they overlap. Honestly, doing this is just so much cheaper. It's not even funny. I have not had to turn to a life of crime yet. Not this public knowledge anyway. Organizing this out to this degree, like, the only reason this is actually, like, easy is because they arrived in, like, packets, so I could kind of, like, basically part them all out into individual things. If I had to search for all these parts in my existing boxes, it would be an actual nightmare. Okay, it's actually starting to take a little bit of shape here, you know? Are we 100% sure I'm not building a train? Imagine if they bait us. Okay, what we got next? Okay, it's starting to feel a bit more firm. Start, let's give it the shape test. Okay, good. The problem with doing all these like annoying little bits is that like the boxes aren't emptying, so it doesn't feel like I'm like making any progress. And there we go. We just crossed the one hour mark. This is legitimate witchcraft. How Look what we have here. All the cameras died, but I wanted to continue the build and I think we may have actually finished the hull. Honestly, this thing is heavy. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm tempting fate, but we got some spinning bits. It's got machine guns. It's got its lights on. Let's finish the build. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> right. Where were we? Uh, you shouldn't just feel bad for me at how long these take me. You should feel bad for my lovely editor, Carly. Um, Sorry. Right, let's see. So yeah, as you see, that's where we got to, okay? So let's go to the next bit. Whoa! Not too shabby. It's also heavy. It really is heavy. So it's starting to get a little bit of shape on it, which I'm really glad because it was looking really block-like. I think this here is the gun mantlet. It'll have machine guns or like a machine gun viewport and then its main armament in the middle there. Talking like a true World of Tanks fan. <laughs> what next? Okay, well, I think it's fair to say that that was amongst the worst 15 minutes of my life to date. I, I hated every minute of that. It actually functions. That is wild. And look at what we have here. Ladies and gentlemen, 
stop the clock three hours and 52 minutes, but I think it might just be worth it. I am unbelievably happy with what I've just created there. That looks so good and it's not Kobe, it's all actual Lego. For 60 quid, for 60 quid. So let's take our Sherman Easy 8 and let's stick it over here for the time being. And then we'll use this base plate to get to the Panzer IV. Now, let me show you something. So you see how he had all of these steps here. You can literally go, come out and see each of these steps like one by one. So there's like a whole whole bunch of steps for this one. If we come over to the Panzer IV, yeah, there's uh, there's three steps. There's three steps. So it goes from this to this to this. Wow. 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 Very useful. Very useful. Now, what we do need to do is big box time. Let's get this box violently opened. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so behind box number one, let's just waste no time whatsoever and just Right, the first thing I need to do is I'm just gonna find all the parts I think are actually for the tank And then we're just gonna ignore the rest of it You'll see like a theme with like all the colors that I've been getting here Loads of stuff that I think will be really 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 useful in mocks in the future Okay, uh, let's start another painfully long tank build Yay! I genuinely did not realize until I'd already ordered this that it didn't have build instructions. I'm honestly half tempted to just have a quick look at some other stuff. Let's see if we can find like a small, a small tank or something like that that might actually have some build instructions with it. So keep it German, like for example, this here, a Martyr 38T. <laughs> A dingo. I'm tempted. What about a stug? Oh my god. Okay, right. You know what? Sack, sack that. Boys, we're making a stug. We're making a stug 4. Which actually, for those of you who didn't know, a stug 4, what distinguishes a stug 3, uh, a stug 3 and a stug 4 is actually the chassis that it sits on. A stug 4 sits on a, a Panzer 4 chassis, so it should actually, in theory, be the same. Now, there's actually one part that I forgot here because we've got to do the new German minifigures, we've got new weapons, loads of new weapons, and of course, we've got our existing German minifigures there. So let's get these guys put together, see what we've actually got. So the three main real German minifigures we've got is we've got a German officer, we've got an MP40 dude, and we've also got a guy with an MG42. So we've got an entire collection of weapons and armor here. We've already got our three existing guys there. We've got so much more to get out. This army's about to grow, but let's start with the two Brand new. This is real Lego. Once again, all of this is just like vinyl printed Lego. These are Panzer Commanders. They're tank commanders. Do I have helmets for them though? No. <laughs> Whoops. However, what I do have is I have a couple of heads for them at least. So there we have it. We've got two new Panzer Commanders. However, they don't actually have any helmets or hats or gear to go with that, but they will be going in the Stug 3, sorry, Stug 4 that we're about to build. What we can do in time being is let's get these guys some pistols. So there's a bunch of new Germans. Now, I believe they also came with these like really nice looking Gewehr snipers. So these guys down here, these are of course all the riflemen. So two of those will get the Gewehrs. And then I guess, well, let's, let's see what else we've got actually, because we've got more in there as well. So we'll get all of those riflemen with the proper helmets attached to them there. And then we'll also start distributing some of these unbelievably high quality weapons. This right here, this is like a medic. This guy looks the part. And we've also got him an actual like medic's helmet as well. You know what, actually? You know what, just for the memes, yeah, let's give the medic a flamethrower. Because, <laughs> you know, technically you're not supposed to shoot medics, but this one's got a flamethrower. It's just a real conundrum. And now we've only got a couple more guys here that we can get together. Now we don't have MP40s for all of them, and we've certainly not got STG44s either. We'll just give them rifles and stuff, it'll be fine. Okay, one of them is going to be borrowing a head from a British paratrooper. Weirdly does just look British. Not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. Let's give him a big old Panzer Shrek. The other MP40 body is gonna get this MP40 and then the last two guys will give just rifles to and then we can start the Stug build. So now that we've done those guys there, I shall now grab another base plate to actually do the build on and let's get to it. I imagine this one may actually take longer because I have not actually picked out the parts for this. Okay, so what I've just done here is literally nothing like what the actual tutorial itself shows, but it has the same effect, so I'm hoping it doesn't matter. So 
it's officially day three of building this Lego mock and I'm now losing the will to live. However, I didn't lose the will to create a Lego Stug 4 and I'm actually kind of very tactically hiding the bottom of it from you because, well, I don't have any tracks for it. It's, there just weren't any. This took me, I actually forgot to press the timer. It took me about seven hours back to back. But hey, uh, it's done now. Let's just, um, let's just, for the love of God, let's just finish this video, eh? Okay, so I finished each of the two base plates, or at least the most basic elements of them. We've got the road, we've got a little bit of hill detailing. For the Sherman, we've got the dark green hills with the grey path. And then for the Stug 4, we've got the brown dirt all around with the dark tan going around the middle. Now, the very first thing I'm gonna try and do, I have ordered some new bits and bobs. Yes, that is the technical name. I'm gonna try and make a tree, like a proper tree. Okay, so what I've done there, that's... Uh, in theory supposed to be a stump. Now this is the important stuff. Okay, how's that looking so far? Somewhat stable. Oh, looks all right. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it for now. How do I get these on in a way where they're not just all flat? But it just looks like the tree's gonna be a wee bit too empty. You know what I mean? Let me put it this way. I would be lying to you if I said I was happy with this. However, I'm really happy that I chose the dark brown instead of the reddish brown because that contrast between the dirt and a tree is a lot nicer. Okay, as for just a little bit more general detailing now, let's get some of these down and we're gonna use this to vary the actual dirt as well so it's just gonna look a little bit more interesting and this is where things actually start to really take shape as well there we go we have got ourselves one mock with a bit of detailing on it now let's just quickly chuck on the stug four and we'll get those minifigures in the rear in support and then we compare it to what you guys have done and we see who did it better me, because it took me 20 hours and like hundreds and hundreds of pounds. <laughs> the one thing we definitely do need to get, obviously, is the Flammenwerfer um, German Medic. Uh, let's keep them all on the road, actually. Let's keep them all on the road. Remember the guy with the Panzer Shrek? Let's uh, let's get let's get him on. Well, let's get him that's running around the side. Everyone else can be on the road. This right here is a World War II tank mock, and genuinely one that I think I can be actually somewhat proud of. Let's do the other one. Okay, we have got but one challenge left. Let's get the Easy Eight in position. Here we're just gonna put like a bunch of bushes down, some little plants, and just some shrubbery and that kind of stuff. Then we'll put the soldiers on. I bet this looks quite weird at the moment, but it's one of those things that once you start getting the bush down and once you get like once you start filling it out I think it will come together okay how does that look what do you think do you think that looks better do you think it looks worse I'm not sure but what I will do is I will now try and get down a couple of these bushes and stuff like that I think that if I do that then it will give a little bit of depth to this and it will help the, the detailing hide underneath the surface which will actually make it look a little bit better. Honestly, I, I actually genuinely think that that is an improvement. I think we could also do with a little splash of colour though. So let's. this is the stuff that we used for um, poppies in the World War One build from last week. I think just a, a, a kind of conservative use of these might actually give a little bit more life to the place as well. So here we go, it's our second base plate and once again it's actually not a pile of turd. Considering I've got no Lego building experience other than the last 10 videos I've made, I'm pretty happy with how this is going, I've got to say. Like this actually doesn't make me cringe, nor does it want me to throw myself out my window. Now let's get a tank and some American minifigures on there. Okay, so so first things first, let's get on the M4, A3, E8, Easy 8. It's a mouthful, but it looks great. First things first, I guess we get the tank crew off. But let's also get General Patton. Let's then get the new airborne troopers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the second mock completed under the four hour mark. Now, it would be incredible if I could have done this entire thing in under four hours. I'm actually very happy with both these mocks, uh, to be honest. Like this one has really, really, really turned out quite nice. Now let's see what you guys have done with the mocks and whether or not they can stand up to my like 20 hours worth of building. <laughs> and lots of money too. So in my Discord, I've created a Lego section with the Lego Announcements channel where I issued the community their first challenge. It was of course a Lego tank mock competition. But let's have a quick look. So insert name has created uh, what appears to be a tiger tank. I love how it's like, um, just like kind of behind stuff. <laughs> it's just on the shelf, kind of just behind stuff. I love the wire, good detail that. Okay, Junji, one of my Scots guards has actually created a pretty, a pretty nice little picture there. I guess maybe a panzer 
three, if I had to guess. But he's cowering behind it with an MP40. A couple of his comrades in front getting gunned down. Good job, Junji. Alex has made a jeep for the mock contest. If that was built from scratch, then legit, like, you've done a pretty good job there. I'm not gonna lie. Then we got Wiggle Opto Brick Films, I believe, with the SU-100. Pretty decent effort, actually. Not gonna lie, pretty decent effort. Arguably better than my Stug. <laughs> yeah, it's possible, but the mock that surrounds it's good. Sir Bastion has done a stop motion. It's his first stop motion. Oh, nice. Good effort, Sir Bastion. Damn, okay, this is this is pretty good. Yo, he's got like custom stickers on there and everything. And then Junji again with an absolute photo drop here. Let's have a quick look. Okay, Junji's... Junji's got the close-up action shots here. Tell you what, actually, Junji's, Junji's quite impressed me with, with a lot of the stuff that's going on here. Is it better than a Marder 3, though? Oh, okay. Now you've shown me the whole thing. Why didn't you show me the whole thing straight away? Yeah, I think that's winning so far. It's a proper action shot. I'm not entirely sure what this is, but it's a thing. And then we've got a Starlight here. Oh, hold on a second. Okay, that's is nice also i've never seen a tree done like that before okay this is like a full a full mock like a proper full d-day mock they've got the landing craft and everything he's even got bits of like explosion on the water he's got some broken parts a whole lot of minifigures look at that it's a proper like it's a proper like ruin bag here with like um with an opal blitz you've also got a flak 36 you've got a bomber overhead raining death from above but this is the bit that impresses me most this is really densely populated like vegetation with a vehicle moving in through um i think it does i think it does let you down this side over here slightly but I'm gonna give you it so far based on what you've actually got here. This is Darth, Darth Blitz. This is one of my top commanders, army command. What's he done? This is my entry into the tank competition. So off the bat, here we go. This is the cloud oh. thingy, Minecraft Steve not included. <laughs> Anyways, oh, I mean, he gets bonus points for smashing it off the wall. I respect that. Oh, hold on a second. One of the best minifigures I've ever seen celebrate. Oh, <laughs> he's included the Scars Plastic 20k, which he made, by the way. I didn't make. Okay, this is from Sebastian. He actually emailed them into me here. This is his mock down here. Is that a Panzer? One, it, uh, Panzer two. A nice little dug-in area with netting over the top, actually. That netting works really well. And then, oh! Yo! That, I was not expecting that. Nice! I think I'm gonna give it to Junji. And here's why, because... All of it, the, the all of it is like, is densely populated and very well detailed and like consistent. And the reason why is because even though this section looks really nice, very well populated and just evenly distributed with good detailing, the back section I just think really lets it down. Like half of the mock like this, half of it is like not great. The other half is really good. So I think Junji is going to take the dub there. So as per the Lego announcement down here in the build competition, Junji, I will be sending you a signed Lego minifigure. Congratulations. Thanks again to World of Tanks for sponsoring this video. Be sure to click the link in the description and use code COMBAT to get all the shiny sign up bonuses. Now subscribe and join the Discord.